Hey guys, how you doing today? Welcome to the video and uh, today I'm gonna give you the best settings in Modern Warfare 2 because the game is full launch now and I did say I would make a full launch video on this um, for your highest FPS settings plus clear visibility in game. Um, I've messed around with a lot of settings myself and uh, I, I, I'm getting really good performance in games. So I'm just going to give you my settings real quick. Um, just go in here to graphics. We're going to start off on display. Make sure your game is in full screen exclusive. Um, I don't know why. Every time I reboot this game, it puts me in borderless and it changes my render resolution. I bet it changed it to like 38. It was supposed to be at a hundred. Yeah, it's supposed to be at a hundred. Okay. A hundred is what your monitor is, but it, that's ridiculous. Anyway um so full screen full screen exclusive um these you know these are just dependent upon what you have in your computer have your refresh rate set to what your monitor does you know all this stuff dynamic resolution i have that shut off it's different if, if you need the extra performance you can do it personally i don't so i have it off um aspect 16 by 9 that's just what your monitor is have both these v-sync options shut off custom frame rate i just have um what my monitor supports in game 60 in the menu and 30 while you're tabbed out um and then the rest of these don't really matter um go to quality um so this is just going to be a custom set my render resolution is 1920 by 1080 um make sure that you guys it's just set to what your monitor is um so i will explain this before this so anti-aliasing i set it uh previously in the last time i made one of these videos they don't have the option to shut off anti-aliasing which sucks um so uh put anti-aliasing on the lowest setting smaa uh, t2x right here um and i have the quality of it on low to get it as close to being off as i can and then on the upscaling sharpening i have fidelity cast selected and then i have it set to 50 and that gives the game look like it makes it look like pretty much anti-aliasing is off that's the closest i can get it while also keeping good performance um and then a video memory scale this just depends you could put it all the way up or even put it down but just know you put it up further it's just gonna allow call of duty to use more vram but it could cause hitching um because it's not leaving enough vram memory for everything else in your computer so turn it down i think 80 is just a good balance i have it also said 80 because i also record with obs while i play so if this is up to 90 i see it, it makes my game hitch a little bit 80 is perfect for me um so i i just give that a go um next texture resolution i've just set to normal um high is there's no reason to have it set to high i mean if, if you really enjoy quality sure but these settings are for highest fps your competitive settings so normal is really good i have texture filter anisophic set to high and then nearby level detail low distant level detail low clutter draw distance short particle quality high and particle quality level high uh, it's been known in previous cod titles and it looks like in this one that having particle quality and the quality levels set to high uh, actually increases fps for some reason so yeah um bolt impact and sprays that has like absolutely no effect on your gpu um i just i prefer having them on because i like seeing where uh, bullet impacts are um shader quality low tessellation off terrain memory minimum and on-demand texture streaming i've set to off um because uh, i don't know this this helps some people um it also sometimes doesn't um i have it shut off mainly because again i record with obs and that's uses my cpu for that and this affects your cpu and i don't want to i don't want to jank up my recordings by doing that um, so yeah, give that a go if you want, but I, I don't think you need it on. Um, streaming quality low, volumetric quality low, deferred physics quality. Um, this is just the quality of the water in the game. And to me, I, I think there's only like one map that I've run across at the moment. And I've played like eight or nine of the maps, maybe seven or eight. I've only to my memory can can only think of one map that actually had water in it uh and i just shut this off because it it does not matter to me whatsoever honestly the water play isn't huge in multiplayer in my opinion you can use it get around a little bit i don't know it's not as big as everyone thought it was gonna be um so yeah i just have that shut off water caustics which is the light rays at the bottom this is just extra performance your computer doesn't need to be pumping out while you're trying to play competitively or getting high frames so i just had that shut off as well um shadow map resolution i have that set to normal um but that should be set to very low actually 
um that's weird every time i close out of this game and reopen it it changes my settings so keep that in mind this game is like modern warfare 2019 used to do this to me too um screen space shadows off spot qual spot shadow quality low a spot cache low particle lighting low ambient occlusion off um screen space reflections i have off static reflection quality i just have set to low um weather grid volumes i have off it's just showing the quality of the weather on different objects in the game which is again an extra hit to your performance that you don't need um and then uh depth of field world motion blur weapon motion blur have all those off nvidia reflex low latency this depends on how new your graphics card to cpu is whatever you're gonna have to give it a try off on and on plus boost but i have a i9 9900k processor and a 2080 ti graphics card and on plus boost works the best for me so if that helps anyone great um and then something to help your visibility by default film grain is set to 0.25 have it set to zero there's no reason to have it uh on at all it adds like noise like uh particles onto everything you're looking at makes it hard to differentiate things sometimes in my opinion um and then under view again 120 fov make sure it's affected and that actually depends on who you are this stuff doesn't matter to your performance at all except for fov but i would recommend playing at a higher fov because everyone else is going to be and if you're not you're at a disadvantage um so yeah that's all the settings that i got here um if you guys want to see anything else on this game let me know and i'll gladly make a video on it anyways you take care and i'll catch you in the next one later